All right, my dudes, in today's video, I'm going to go over all of the four star servants that are available in the new SR ticket over on the JP version of the game. If you have not hopped on to JP uh, FGO, that was a really good time to hop on there. Castoria's returned. You got people like Miss Crane, Jolter going on raid up, and you get this free SR ticket, which should be live as this video is going up. But before we begin, this video is once again sponsored by Bai. If you don't know, let me tell you, Bai is basically kind of like an eBay service or like a buying service to get Japanese products. If you're someone like me who lives over in the West and you know, you see these like FGO cards down here that they get for FGO Arcade, but because FGO Arcade isn't over here in the West, you know, we don't have access to these cards, but you can basically buy them up over here and it is like a buying service that is a safe way to go ahead and get these products guaranteed. And if you use my link in the description down below, you will get 2000 free yen put into your account if you make a new account using my link. And that means basically, look at this nice BB card. You can go ahead and practically get that BB card using that 2000 yen. Or look at this absolutely banging Musashi figure, dude. You could already chop off like almost more than a fifth of the price of that uh, figure right there. You can just get a lot of good stuff. Maybe you're feeling a little bit feisty and you know, get this whoever cosplay that is. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Sign up using my link down in the description down below. Uh, they are an avid supporter of the channel and they're giving you guys 2,000 free yen if you make an account using my link. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let's move back to our regularly scheduled programming. All right, so moving on over here, I've got the list of all the servants and I've got my nice nifty little red paintbrush here. So we're just gonna go along every single servant here Kind of give the ones that are really high value targets a green check mark the ones that are a bit more low value will give them a red x and then some of the ones that i think are just kind of okay to get i'll just put a red circle around them so that's kind of the criteria for what we're doing right now now uh saber alter she's gonna get a like she's a pretty solid okay choice uh, she does a lot of damage they gave her her battery she's really just on the cusp of needing like maybe one more buff and she'll be super insane God forbid they buff her NP because if you don't know, her NP already has higher base uh, damage scaling. If you don't know, uh, basically when they buff an NP, they buff its damage as well. Salter already has like the damage of a buffed NP. Like her NP just does a ridiculous amount of damage. So God forbid they buff that. Uh, she'll be absolutely insane. So if you want to scoop up Salter because she has a cute outfit and you're like, she's on the cusp of becoming a super nutty broken servant, she's absolutely fine to go for. Same thing for Gawain. Gawain's just kind of like a fine servant to go for. He's not like super, super terrible. He's got a battery. He can do some decent damage for you. He's got a guts if you need to bring him for like some challenge quest or something. Uh, with the buff that allows him to get his buster buff whenever he wants, the uh, sunny side buff, you know, it makes him pretty decent. He's not a terrible option to go for. Um, Simonai, you know, over here, I couldn't decide if I wanted to say Siegfried or Simonai, but he's also okay, especially if you have, um, Romulus Quirinius, uh, because that setup is actually really disgusting. Basically what you do is, uh, Quirinius makes everybody a Roman, you go and you fight some dragons, so Siegfried will get his buff, and then you use Boudica to buff everybody's damage against, uh, Romans, and then, uh, Siegfried just goes absolute ham tar. He does, like, unironically a million damage outside of an event like you can do disgusting amounts of damage it's very specific more than likely you're just going to use him to fight dragons but he's fine now after all of his buffs it's just you probably do need higher np copies if you wanted to do any decent amount of damage uh chevalier to aeon not very good she kind of has like a niche as like a taunty debuff saber person but if you're gonna pick somebody out of here you're not picking chevalier to aeon she's really not going to impact your account very very much uh siegfried i'm also i'm gonna give him like a one slash because i wouldn't advise going with him because he's also like he's very niched into dragons right where at least these two if you need a aoe saber they have the battery and they do decent damage especially if you're saber alter you do pretty crazy damage um suzuka over here is also pretty solid um she's a little wonky uh she doesn't drop as many stars as i would like her to on her np with her crit star uh, drop buff but if you have merlin you can easily fix that or if you're going to use the uh newly brought back to jp miss crane she can also really help her out with that uh suzuka is pretty good it's just if you pick her as an np1 you're going to be a little disappointed in the damage so i'm going to give her like a little a little like half slash you know what i'm saying a little half slash because if you're getting her at np1 she might be a little disappointing now dear mood saber oh baby i get to break out the green check mark 
Uh, that guy's really insane. If you got Scotty recently over on JP, this is your single target quick saber, my dude. This guy is going to put in a lot of work for you. I mean, he's got pretty much everything you would want your DPS to have. He's literally just generically good single target quick saber. Like he can loop his NP just fine. He's pretty tanky. He's got survivability. My man's just got like all the basic stuff you would want a guy to have. Uh, then we have Nero. Nero, unfortunately, I'm gonna give I'm gonna have to give her the red circle with a half slash because she's just a little wonky needing to be on like water side battlefields. Not water side, but you know, specific battlefields. Uh, it's just a little wonky for her kit. Not the biggest fan of that. Um, but she's not completely terrible at the same time. Uh, for instance, if you want to go for Nero because she has three different costumes and they're all absolute bangers, then yeah, by all means, you can go with Nero because you can get some mileage out of her, right? Like if you don't have, uh, you know, Muramasa and you're like, man, I really need a AoE art saber. I mean, Nero should be okay until you can get your hands on Muramasa. I think he sh she should be fine. Uh, I just don't recommend it over some of the other people that you can go ahead and grab. Uh, Bargus, another servant that gets a big fat green check mark. Bargus is pretty crazy. Uh, she's not just a dummy mommy big black dog lady thing that she is in Lost Belt 6, but she's absolutely insane. It might take her a little bit to get started up if you're uh, kind of using her for the first time, but once you get her started up and you start ramping her up, she can become pretty insane. And again, kind of like Dier Mood, she pretty much does everything you would want a single target buster servant to do uh, and just being able to destroy all the enemies in the game. So she's really, really good on that front. Uh, then we have our boy, uh, wait, hold on. I remember his name, bro. Why is his name escaping me? I know his name. Oh, it's Yagyu. Yagyu. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally sitting here just like, I know his name. It's Yagyu. Oh, and by the way, before I get flamed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bargus is an AOE server. My bad, my bad, my bad. Before I get flamed, but still does what you would want your DPS to do. But yeah, Yagyu, I'm going to give Yagyu a nice, like, I'm going to give him a nice circle because Burst Servants are kind of out of the meta right now, but he, he's not bad, right? Like, he's still a good single target uh, Burst Servant, even though they're not in the quote-unquote meta. Yagyu could still put in some work as like an arts crit single target Saber guy, so not much to really say on that front. He can kind of put in a little bit of work. Rama... I don't know what they did to my boy Rama. He like looks really good on paper, but you use Rama and then I like he, they say he has like 76% NP gain, but he doesn't, bro. I'm like sitting over here critting on an arts card getting like 9% NP back and I'm like, what did they do to my boy Rama? He needs something. They gave him a buff, they gave him an animation update, so clearly they haven't forgot about him, but like come on, chop chop, let's give this guy a buff and <laughs> make him a little bit more usable. Uh Lakshmi Bai over here. Lakshmi Bai is decent. Um, she struggles to loop a little bit because she's an AoE quick saber, but she's fine. Like if you don't have another, like uh, if you're like really lacking on AoE quick servants and you know, you have Scotty, you can make some usage out of her. Uh, she is pretty decent. Uh, saber Lancelot, man, I really want to say people pick Saber Lancelot, but if you don't have him, like it's the same thing as Suzuka, right? that like where he gets the half one. If you're getting him at NP1, his NP1 damage is pee pee poo poo bum bum. Like it is not good. Like his NP1 damage is not very good. I have a very high opinion of him because I was finally able to get him to NP5 over on NA and now the dude puts in work. So it's kind of like, if you're gonna pick him up cause you're gonna get him at like NP3, NP4 or you know, you're picking up like the last copy of him then the dude could put in work because he like actually is like the definition of generic easy to use servant because you literally just pop one two three skills click np and then just keep clicking np until the enemy dies right so <laughs> i don't know he's um he, he's a little finicky this one he's not bad it's just you really need to get him to higher np copy so if you're gonna pick him just keep that in mind uh our Resident Femboy over here. <laughs> uh, Lan Ling gets the nice fat green check mark. Uh, Lan Ling is actually pretty much, if I can just put it into words, is kind of like what um, Lady over here, uh, Chevalier, should have been as like a support saber type servant. He's kind of like uh, like a a, a, um, a Chevalier and a Caskill like merged into one or something along those lines. Uh, he's definitely very, very good. I would not uh, sleep on the boy uh, 
landling over here. Um, K-pop dude, I'm gonna give him a green circle, okay? I'm gonna give him a green circle because he's very, very strong. It's just I'm personally not the biggest fan of his gameplay, right? So it's a little bit of a bias for me seeping in, but he is good. It's just I personally don't enjoy his gameplay very much. I have him leveled on JP. I use him and he's fine, right? He's fine, but I'm not going to deny and like, I can't say he's bad. He's definitely good. It's just, mm, I don't know if you need like a DPS saber, you know, maybe, maybe go for someone like Vargas or somebody because Vargas can definitely ramp up damage and look really, really insane. Um, this guy, Ashwatthaman. Yes, yes. Big green check mark. Ashwatthaman is absolutely dummy broken insane. I mean, my boy's got survivability. He can hit hard. He uh, has like a nice hybrid quick and buster deck that you can actually start stacking and to actually potentially never lose his buffs if you play your cards correctly. He's absolutely broken. Dummy, dummy good. Uh, same thing for Atalanta. Atalanta, very, very good for looping. Uh, if you have Scotty, she can definitely loop for you and put in a lot of really good work. Um, Emia, yes, yes. Like that is like double check mark. Like if you need somebody... Emia is broken. If there is like a servant to pick, he's even getting a little circle around him, okay? Because Emia is stupid broken, dude. Especially after they made him uh, have the ability to change between Buster and Arts and Peas. Yes, yes, all the way. This guy is actually just stupid dummy broken. He's very, very, very strong. I mean, packing the dodge, the star generation, the big crit damage, the omni buff for all of his cards. The fact that he can even like still pierce defense as well he lowers attack he just does everything man he's so good um emia alter i'm giving him the green circle because i think he's a bit on the better side my man does a lot of damage he hits really really hard um but outside of that doesn't really do a whole lot else i mean he's got like attack buff defense buff thumbs up there you go that's pretty much his whole kick uh he just shoots bullets at people but i mean he does a good job because he's doing damage um, Chiron, very, very good. He functions as either a uh, DPS or a support type servant, depending on how you want to use him. Uh, he gives the party crit damage. He gives one person a uh, Omni card buff. Very, very good. Um, very, like, nice, like, free to play. Like, if you pick him, he's, like, a good free to play, like, a uh, support type option or someone you could plug suit in and out. Very, very good. Uh, Zenobia. So, this was one of the ones that I thought was going to be a really hard struggle to use at NP1 because their NP1 damage is not very good. But because Zenobia refunds like fat globs of her NP every single turn because of her skills, she actually ends up looping very, very fine. And uh, there's been very rare scenarios where it's come down to me having to use her face cards after her NP on wave three. But the good thing is, is that uh, if you save Zenobia's second skill, you can get a bunch of stars and you can guarantee that you're going to get crits on those uh, because she, I believe she drops stars on her second skill and she refunds on her first skill, I believe. Um, it's her first or third skill, but... Yeah, basically, she farms very, very well, and she's hot. I mean, she checks all of the boxes, dude. She's got, like, white hair, she's tan, has abs, and is somehow also a thicky, bro. And they gave her piercing blue eyes. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> very, very solid choice. Like, outside of my own preference, and then I, I like Zenobia a lot. I think she was really cool in the Liz event. Uh, she is very, very strong. She's a very, very good uh, arts AoE archer if you need one. Tomoe, I'm going to give her the, the red circle, or not the red circle, but the green circle, because Tomoe, again, like Emiya Alter, does really big damage. She can do a lot of damage. She can put in that work. Um, it's just that she's probably like a buff away from being really solid. Like, I'm really expecting them to give her maybe a 30% battery or something of the like. I think that would actually do really, really good for her, but her damage is really strong. The fact that she can double buff herself with the Oni Charisma... You know, the fact that she's got star weight and everything, she can buff everybody's star generation rate, makes it very good, kind of turns everybody into star gens. She's definitely a very, very solid servant to go ahead and scoop. Just not somebody I'd recommend people to go for. And, you know, you guys know I love I love my Tomoe a lot. I got her Grail level 100 and everything, bro. So it's very hard for me to not give her the check mark, but she's just missing like a battery or something. Uh, Tristan is also okay. Tristan's I eat. Um... <laughs> <laughs> bro we just made an infinity symbol <laughs> but um tristan's okay basically kind of like along the same vein as a lot of these guys um but he actually has a 50 percent battery which makes him a little more cracked um a little good so i'll give him like a little little smudgy thing in there to show that like you know tristan's actually a little bit better uh, the fact that he's got sure hit and stuff also gives him a little bit of um tech it's just he's a little weird because he seals his own np but you just play around that dude use a debuff cleanse come on it's not that hard 
uh boa bond sith very very strong has like 60 percent charge on two different skills and just debuffs the enemy with every debuff known to man very very strong uh lancer artoria altar definitely coming up on being very good she's one of those servants i would keep an eye out on kind of like salter you know i'm gonna dude just imagine all the red things over here are green i like the green better the green looks way more positive except for the x's i'm giving red x's for failures but <laughs> um yeah she's like on the cusp of being like really really broken on the vein of like salter over here right where they're both really really strong um it's just that like they're both kind of like one buff away from being nutty broken so we'll see how that kind of pans out vlad mm, I, like i just wouldn't pick vlad dude i've got np5 vlad over on na he's not bad he's got like the anti-evil thing going on but dude lancer is such a stacked a class that you really don't need vlad dude you like you you could just pick her and you'd be absolutely fine dude and like look at okay well you don't pick liz even though liz has got the charisma you don't really pick her like because she's just really you're gonna pick her for the charisma no it's not a very good idea uh canis canis after her buff actually became very solid you could pick her over vlad um dude let's be honest Kin Leong Yu is not bad but you're not picking her like she's way too much set up for something every other servant can literally do but better uh you're not picking neza neza's just kind of mid percival you could pick percival is very very solid like you can actually loop as well if you need an aoe looping lancer very very strong parvati is like emia they like this is like the this is one that you really should very very highly consider picking right even if you don't have Scotty, she is a solid, solid investment because Parvati is absolutely broken. Uh, she loops like a dream. She competes with like other five star servants. She's insane. Finn. Finn is also good, by the way, with Castoria being out. I'm tired of this Finn slander, dude. Finn is actually good now. Finn is actually like really solid. He's received all of his buffs. I would have thought the Benny Enma event would have taught people that, yeah, Finn is actually good now when he was pretty much your only option to use for the, uh, the, um, the bath house quest or whatever it was during benny and where we could only use males and you're like dude i can actually loop with finn this is crazy like um i know some people were having trouble uh figuring out the team comp but i found it out on stream which is a you know stream plug right there but yeah <laughs> like, i figured it out and he's doing really really good um finn is really good you're not picking medusa lily like you, you, you just ain't she's just really not worth it yet she needs like a buff or two before she's really really good lee schwinn is pretty solid again like very he's like the lancer version of uh moon and Ori over here like if you're gonna pick uh like some bursty guy like he's also pretty solid to go for see here's the problem i'm gonna give him the circle because the valkyries aren't bad it's just parvati is literally right there dude she's literally right here and i'm covering them up because i don't care but she's literally right there dude so you're not picking the Valks. Um, Astolfo, look, got a 50% battery and, and they're really cute. All right. So, you know, I, I'll give them a circle. <laughs> like they, they have some value with the 50% battery, but please don't pick Astolfo. You have better choices, but I completely understand. I mean, I was going to pick Mordred with my saber ticket because Mordred's outfit from Apocrypha is pretty nice. So same thing. If you want to pick Astolfo because Astolfo's outfit is banging then by all means pick yourself up an astolfo my dude um nikki is okay she's a little disappointing uh for a modern servant that came out next to tai gong who is broken she's a little disappointing but you can get some mileage out of her as a buster uh rider you're not picking marie you ain't picking martha uh even though i know someone's gonna be like but martha's got the debuff cleanse dude it's like yeah like it's very nice to have in your box but out of everybody here you ain't picking martha for that right you're you're gonna pick somebody else um helene is not bad uh, for the same reason that chiron's pretty good in fact i'm gonna give her a check mark uh because they ba both basically function as a uh, dps hybrid uh support type servant so you know you can pick her up she's like a baby waiver she's not bad uh caskill very good if you want to do arts crit teams it's just the problem is that right now uh what's her name uh miss crane is out and miss crane is kind of like the modern caskill she's a better caskill in like every conceivable way but caskill is still good that doesn't mean that he's bad it just means that miss crane is broken right so it's like caskill is still very very strong um if you need i guess a single target uh caster you pick her not shiba 
because uh, 120% battery, my dude, it makes things way easier than uh, taking 500 years to get your NP. Um, Edison, if you want to scoop because he's on the cusp of becoming broken, you can. You are not picking new, uh, Nursery Rhyme. Needle Chris is broken. You definitely pick her. Okay, let me, let me take... I just can't even see her anymore. Needle Chris is insane. Um, if you're like, again, ones to look out for. Emia, Parvati, and Needle Chris. Recite that for me. Because uh, they're very, very broken and they make your box insane. Uh, you're not picking Medea Lily because nobody cares about healing. You're not picking Carrie. He's depressed. You're not picking... What are you? What are you? I forget your name. What is your name? Yinching? Yinching, right? Hold on. Let me let me check. Hold on. My 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 dumb. Yeah, his name is Yanching. See, I'm an FGO lore master. I remember. Uh, Carmilla. Sorry, plushie, but you're not picking Carmilla, dude. I'm sorry. That is. Just, she's got an anti-female niche, but I'm sorry. You just you just ain't picking Carmilla, bro. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, you got better options to go for here, but I mean, Carmilla's hot. So I mean, if you want to pick her for that, I guess. Um, but if you want a heart Carmilla, you go for Ryder Carmilla when she goes on Raid Up because that Carmilla, chef's kiss, dude. <laughs> um, then we have Donzo over here. You ain't picking Donzo. She's got a nice niche where she has like the invincibility and the dodge. Like that's kind of cool, but you ain't picking her. You're not picking this lady, even though she's fine. Like, okay, yeah, look, I'll give her a little circle. You, you can use her, but like you ain't picking her. Bro, I don't even have to tell you guys to not pick uriel like surely i don't have to tell somebody be like and they're like but the but the double divine charisma it's like bro you're not picking elizabeth what makes you think you're picking uriel you're out of your mind if you think you're picking uriel you ain't picking her even though okay i'll give her the circle because her buff is pretty decent but you're still not picking her uh chiyome is decent she's fine i get like i guess if you could pick her you could pick chiyome uh berserker atalante is decent although the buff to her first skill is a little wonky but, like, let's be honest, you ain't picking Ibaraki because Huncules is right there. And then even if you don't pick Huncules, you have Beowulf, who's actually pretty good now. Frank is really good, which is why you're not picking Tamakat, because Frank is literally right there. But you might not pick Frank because Elsalot's right there. Um, and then you ain't picking Penthesilia because Herc is right there. But, I mean, I guess you, if you already have Herc, like NP5, you can just pick one of these two. Um, and then these are kind of like all dependent on if you need them in your box, but I wouldn't recommend him because uh, he's not very good, but like she's pretty good. Gorgon is okay. And then Hephaestion is broken, but these ones down here, like this area down here, the extra class people, they're more dependent on like, do you need a ruler? Like, have you just gotten really unlucky and you haven't gotten any ruler class servants that you could pick up? Um, uh, dude, it's... Why am I want? I wanted to call her Lily. That is not her name. Um. Oh, dude, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm a lore master. I know. Uh, Astraea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got her. Dude, too many servants in the game, man. I have to learn like all this Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and I'm in, I'm in class, and I have to learn all the fate stuff, bro. I have too much information in my head. But if you need a ruler, Avenger, or I mean, I think grabbing a pretender is just kind of good. Uh, this is probably what I'll be picking personally because I don't have Oberon and I didn't pull Hephaestion. So I'm like, might be a good choice to go for, my dudes, because uh, just having the extra classes in your box is good. But yeah, hopefully you guys are paying attention to the video because this has now just kind of become a jumbled up mess. But let me, uh, let me just... For the sake of brevity, let me just pull a fresh a slate over here and let me just give you guys the rundown. You know, if you want to be like, bro, I ain't listening to the whole video. Give me the rundown. It's like, all right, servants you want to look for. You want, bro, where's the top of the thing? Oh, it's all the way up here. No, come down here. <laughs> Back down here. Here are your main targets. Emiya, you want him. He's good. Uh, you have Parvati. She's a main target. Then you have Nido Chris. These are like the three that'll probably be the most immediately useful to you and like immediately the most broken. And then also the ones down here, depending on your uh, class, except for Lobo. Uh, Herc also can help you out a lot. These are probably some of the servants that I would just recommend right out the gate. Like if you don't have them or you don't have somebody that fills their niche, they are absolutely broken. Nido Chris, especially even now, just helps you get around so many annoying nodes. Uh, Nido Chris just continues to be like, one of the best servants in the game she's absolutely insane she's stupid dummy broken but let me know who you guys are going to pick in the comments down below um i'm considering picking hafeistin i'm also considering getting np2 zenobia 
or NP2 Nikki because I have both of these guys grailed on my JP account. So I'm considering going for one of them or maybe I'll just be a super base individual and I'll pick myself an Astolfo. But with all that being said, let me know who you guys are going to pick in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Sign up with Bai in the link down in the description down below. And peace late, guys.